What's up, everybody? It's your man, Jay Filt from HowToMakeVerySickBeats.com. If this is your first time, welcome. And today, I got another guest from the Controllerized family, my man, Funk Shu. What up? What up? What's good with you, So man? you know how we do it, man. I, yeah, thanks yeah. for doing this with me. No problem. No We're going to do another tutorial from the fam. So without further ado, let's get into it. <laughs> show you guys how to side chain on FL. Um, so basically, you want to start with, uh, of course, I got a little um, drum pattern uh, queued up already. I'll show you guys real quick. There we go. So this is the pattern. I got two, right? So the first one goes. That's the first one, right? Then it goes. So that's what we got for the drum pattern. Uh, as far as samples go, we got this. Uh, it's a candy sample. So that's how it sounds flat out. No, nothing to it, right? I got a couple of things going on in the mixer, but outside of that, that's about it uh, for the sample, just to get it to sound how it sounds. But uh, if you want to get that absorbed kind of old school like 90s housey kind of pump and your kicks you know uh, a great way to do that would be the side chain so basically what you want to do is you want to have one kick set up um, and for mine it's going to be this one right here CPK that's the first kick and then you want to duplicate that kick so uh, I'll have two of the same kick making the same pattern right but what you're going to do with the second kick is it's going to be a side chain and it's going to be like an invisible kick if that makes sense ghost kick we call it that uh, so what you do is you put these in your mixer um, by highlighting them both and you will um, put them in whatever mixer you want to put them in depending on what you have in there already here's cpk1 uh, i'll just single it out and play it for you real fast this is the kick you want to hear right Then this is the side chain kick. You see how it's silent? That's because we turned the volume down on this. And how we do that is you click on the mixer. This is mixer eight for me. After you make sure your sample is, um, your mixer with the sample in it is clicked on, you're gonna wanna go over to the side right here and click down on one of these drop boxes and go to your limiter, right? Now I already have it pulled up but it's called Fruity Limiter. So what you're gonna wanna do is click on Fruity Limiter and this box is gonna pop up. Now I know if you don't know what this is, this might look a little crazy. It looked a little crazy to me, right? Um, but this is what you wanna do. You wanna click on Comp. Uh, and this just stands for Compress, Compressor. So you wanna click on Compress. Uh, make sure your side chain is up to one, right? Make sure your side chain is up to one and when you get it, it's going to look like this. This is probably this is what it's going to look like, right? So you're going to want to make sure this is up to one. And then you're going to go to your threshold, bring this all the way down to about right here, or lower it. It's all your preference from here on out, really. But for me, I keep it about right there at about negative 40 um, dB, negative 40, negative 41 dB. And uh, your ratio, you're gonna move it around to about six, uh, one, one. And you can see that up here when you're messing with it. Uh, but yeah, you keep it around like six, 6.1. And uh, it should sound like this after you do that. I'm gonna take the kick off so you guys can hear the ghost kick, right? The regular kick, I'm going to take that off. See, now that's the ghost kick. Because you remember, we turned this down. Right? Now if I turn it back up, there it is again. If I turn it down, it's gone. And you get that absorbed feel that you want when you're making things like lo-fi hip-hop or house music or whatever it is you want to use this for. Um, and uh, that's basically it. You just you know mess around 
with these uh, knobs, you know, figure out what you like best. Like I said, once you get right here and you get your side chain set up, it's all preference from there on out. You could have it up here, right here. It just depends on what you're going for, what you're feeling at the moment. Um, but as far as that goes, that's how you side chain in FL12. You have two separate kick tracks, right? Yeah. One is just like a main kick. Yeah. And your second kick is using it's like a phantom kick to as play. like a phantom okay yeah. so you're not you don't really hear the phantom kick so to speak no nah. that's just used to compress the uh sample the sample under the kick in that pattern that yeah. you did it's like a form of layering i guess you know but yeah that's, that's pretty much it how you do it awesome so if you like this video hit that thumbs up button more to come and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I'll leave all the social links down below, so don't forget, man. Look underneath. Matter of fact, tell me where we can find you. All right, you can find me at Funk Shoe on all social media, Twitter, Facebook, SoundCloud, Bandcamp, and Instagram. That's Funk, F-U-N-K dot Shoe, S-H-U. All right, see y'all in the next one. Peace and positive energy. You little filth.